All right, so we're just back at our secret panning location. Uh, we found decent gold in pretty much every pan. We're just digging down a hole below this root system here and uh, getting down a little deeper and see what we can find in the pan there. Gold can be found in pretty much anywhere in this uh, creek. So what we're going to do is we're going to take uh, the first pan right here, right down at bedrock, as well as uh, amongst these uh, fine roots here. Alright, that's the first pan. Let's see how this turns out. Alright, so first pan, here we go. So what we're doing is we're going to be sampling along the creek. What we want to do is we want to find where the gold stops. We're going to be spending uh, quite a bit of time here. Uh, this is in a municipal forest reserve, so it's pretty hard to get access in the summertime due to fire uh, season. So we're going to spend as much time possible here that we can. Gold in the bottom of the pan. Pan a little bit of the black sands out. Look at that. All chunky pieces, a few fines in there. Wow. That's an amazing pan again. A couple small pieces. Oh, there's a lot of finds in there as well. So we're definitely uh, on some really decent gold here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven pickers. I'd say that's probably the best one we've had here. Uh, a couple small flakes and uh, a bunch of fines in there. Here I'll clean that out and we can get a good look at the nuggets. Again that was from that hole right there. Take a look at these uh, nice chunky gold right there. Okay, so we're about uh, 15 meters farther up creek now. And what we're doing is we're taking a, uh, a sample from underneath this tree here. Seeing if any uh, gold's gotten trapped in there.
So we've staked this as a mineral claim. We're not able to stake it as a plaster due to the location of it. So we can't run any uh, major equipment in here. All we can do is sampling for now. Um, we're trying to get something else worked out, but we don't know if that's gonna happen. So you can see right there, there's some bedrock. We'll probably take our next pan from there. It's getting late now and we don't have a lot of time, so we'll probably do just a few more pans to show everyone what we're finding in this awesome location. So there's a lot of moss in here. Getting some nice chunky gold in there. Looks like you got uh, two pieces here, a couple small little tiny flakes there. Not a lot of fines. I guess there's probably about 10 colors in there, maybe 15 amongst the black sands. Again, that's a pretty decent pan. I'd say maybe a sixth of a gram. All right, so it's getting really late. It's dark out, um, so we don't have time to do any more panning, but we're going to be stopping by uh, showing, which we sampled last year, and we're gonna resample it, do a five kilogram sample, send it in for an analysis, uh, ICP method, and a fire assay for the gold, and we're going to be Hopefully doing a bulk sample on this, maybe removing a ton and sending it into a refinery if we can uh, get good results out of this resample. It is a four kilometer drive away, so um, we're just hiking back now and then we'll head back to the truck and uh, continue on from there to the showing. All right, so on our way back, we just thought we'd sample this showing uh, on one of our properties which we're um, planning on removing some of the material out of and uh, seeing if we can get a ton out of this doing a bulk sample uh, so this is it right here you got uh, sulfides in the form of pyrite calcopyrite and uh, we're going to be removing a bunch of this this is a one foot wide or 30 centimeter wide vein with uh, solid mineralization and uh, it's got decent amounts of gold um, really good silver uh, it's got a tiny bit of copper it's got some zinc and some lead so we'll uh, we'll resample this right now and uh, if this turns out to be good we're gonna be doing the bulk sample so Stay tuned for that in a follow-up video.
So you got more mineralization here. This is a schistose rock. And uh, beside the solid mineral vein, you have it in uh, your host rock has disseminations. This is the only solid mineral vein that we've found here um, on this portion of the claim. We do have a couple of joining properties which have really decent uh, ore bodies. Again, we're going to be doing more bulk sampling, but that is uh, in the future. And uh, for now, we'll just uh, work with this one. Anyway, hope everyone enjoyed the video. Um, stay tuned, we're going to be doing a Patreon giveaway next. All right, so we just drew a name out of a hat for our Patreon giveaway. Uh, the lucky winner is John Granholm. This is some nice chunky gold, mainly from uh, one of our secret locations. And uh, congratulations, you are the lucky winner. There's about one to two grams in here. Not exactly sure, 100%, but you will figure it out. Uh, if you want to message us on Patreon, congratulations, John. If you want to be a part of Patreon, head over to www.patreon.com backslash 911mining and you will be entered to win prizes like this. Assay results to follow for the last showing.